Hello students, today we are going to learn the lesson from unit number 4 that is the assay that made trees bloom which is written by William Elliot Griffiths. This is a story about an honest and hardworking old couple and their pet dog. The neighbors are troublesome and the dog dies a sad death. The spirit of the dog gives solace and support to his master in unexpected ways. Students, let's see the story. In the old days of the Demios, there lived an old farmer with his wife. They had a little pet dog whom they loved like their own child. One day, the dog found the farmer a treasure in the field. Their neighbors, another old couple, were wicked and greedy. They wanted the dog to find treasure for them too. But the dog showed them the spot where a dead kitten lay buried. In a fit of anger, they killed the dog. The spirit of the dog came in its master's dream and helped his master in various ways. First, the dog spirit helped him get a tub of gold. Second, the spirit of the dog asked the old man to take the ashes of the mill and sprinkle them on the withered trees. The old man did so and the withered trees bloomed. Soon, the kind old man heard that his lord, the demio, was to pass near the village. He set out to see him taking his basket of magic ash along. He climbed a withered cherry tree that stood by the wayside. When the demiurge palaquin drew near, he scattered a pinch of ashes over the tree and it burst into blossom. The demio was much pleased. The farmer was richly rewarded for his wonderful act. The greedy neighbor heard of it. He too took the ashes and climbed a withered cherry tree. When the demio was under the tree, the greedy man scattered a handful of ashes over the tree. The wind blew, the fine dust into the nose and eyes of the demio and his wife. The greedy man was dragged, given a sound beating and thrown into a ditch where he died. Students, we learn from this lesson that if people are kind to other people and animals, they tend to be happy. But if they are greedy and cruel, they will be unhappy and sad. I hope. You all have understood the lesson that is the ashes that made trees bloom which is written by William Elliot Griffiths. Thank you very much. Students, now we will discuss the question answers of first part. So first question, why did the neighbors kill the dog? The answer of this question is the neighbors, the greedy couple wanted the dog to find them gold. but the dog showed them the spot where a dead kitten lay buried. In a fit of anger, they killed the dog. Second question. Mark the right items. First, the old farmer and his wife loved the dog. The answer of this question is Option B, as if it were their own baby. Option C, as they were kind to all living beings. Now second, when the old couple became rich, they... The answer is lived comfortably and were generous towards their poor neighbors. Third question, the greedy couple borrowed the meal and the mortar to make, the answer is a pile of gold. Now part 2, question first, the old farmer is a kind person. What evidence of his kindness do you find in the first two paragraphs? The answer of this question is, the old farmer had a dog named Muko. He loved it like his own baby. He fed the dog with small pieces of fish and boiled rice. He was patient and kind to all living things. This shows that the old farmer was a kind person. Question 2. What did the dog do to lead the farmer to the hidden gold? The answer of this question is, the dog went running to the farmer. He put his paws against his legs and motioned with his head to some spot. It was the place where the gold was hidden. Question 3. First. How did the spirit of the dog help the farmer first? Answer. First, the spirit of the dog helped the farmer get a tub full of gold. Second, how did it help him next? Answer. Next, the spirit dog came in the farmer's dream and told him to collect ashes that would make any wither tree bloom. When the procession of the daimyo passed by their village, farmer made a dry cherry tree burst into blossom by scattering pinches of ash on the tree. The farmer was richly awarded for this wonderful act. Question number 4. Why did the demio reward the farmer but punish his neighbor for the same act? Answer. 
The wicked farmer tried to do the same act by throwing a handful of ash over Demio and his procession. However, this time the particle did not transform the wither tree. Instead, the wind blew the fine dust in the nose and eyes of the Demio and his wife, who started sneezing and choking. It spoiled all the pomp and dignity of the procession. The guard dragged the wicked man and beat him to death.